I was looking at your website earlier and you've got the, uh, to, to quote a line you've got on there, see how we can help protect your family for the future. And you've put in bold, we can protect your family. Mm. And that really drew me in a little bit because I guess I hadn't really thought about legal or legal companies sort of in that way. So I'd be interested to hear a little bit more about some of the services that you offer mm. and, and what that, that particular strap line actually means. Yeah, sure. I think uh, for most people, law, like you said, is quite dry. It's it's quite a grey world, isn't it? It's, we always talk about, you know, people's expectations are of pinstripe lawyers. Yeah. Maybe some of them, right or wrongly, jargon, talking down to you, making people feel uncomfortable very expensive because you don't know where you're going. It's a bit like when you go into a garage sometimes and you say, oh, I need my car fixed. And then they go, you know, you, you don't know. Do you? Fucking looked at it. Law- yeah. Lawyers are the same, but they just don't make that noise generally, you know. And uh, But there's some fantastic law firms out there, you know, in all different sort of uh, sectors. But I think they, they've missed the point sometimes that you know, it's all about the customer, isn't it, the client, because they're the ones with the problem. They're the ones with the, you know, the distress in many cases because, I think a lot of legal matters are distress purchases, aren't they? They're, they're very much, I need to do something about it because something's happened by and large. Whereas we try and be the other way around and say, do it in advance, you know, put, put estate planning in advance. So, so in the States, typically, they, they love doing this. They buy lots more life insurance, for example. Uh, they're proud of their pension pots that they build up. And they talk about all their estate plannings in place. So wills, trust, powers of attorney, because I think... It, in our world, in, in the UK, it's, it's, it's quite a negative connotation because it's, it's all about death and it's about injury and illness. When what we're saying is it's a thoughtful thing to, to put something in place for your family, protect them, look after them, you know, while you're here, while you're fit and well, do something about it because you've got control then, haven't you? Mm. Whereas uh, if you leave it until something happens, and I don't mean ultimate death, although obviously that does happen, sadly, uh, it's, it's if you fall ill, you know, if you're a business owner, and you've got business interests, who's going to run that if you're not well enough to do so, you know? And a business power of attorney can sort that out, you know? Is that, is that what you do? Like, you can sort all that type of stuff out? Yeah. Well? So we, we look at, you know, people's personal affairs, you know, what's their family structure like? And as you know, you know, one myself, we, we live in blended families now, don't we? There's lots of families, people who have married before, children from different relationships, Lots of people are married now, living together, but they've they've got all these sort of variances going on in their in their life, and they just need to sit with someone who's you know good at what they do, you know, fully qualified, very experienced, uh, and I know we've all got to get experience somewhere. You've got to start somewhere, but but look at someone who, who's been around the block a little bit and 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 understands all the nuances of of you know family dynamics and and situations really, and then just give them the appropriate advice. Mm -hmm. And even if it's just putting a a goodwill in place, you know, at least that's a start. But you find people look for uh, the cheapest thing they can find online. You know, we always talk about don't ask me uh, any advice because you've got your Google lawyer, haven't you? You've got your Google doctor. You know, when we're all not yeah. well, what do, what do people do? But, you know, or Fred from the pub. Fred is given the best <laughs> advice because he knows someone who knows someone. You know, go to a professional on it. If, if I want my, um, I don't know, my, my boiler fixed at home, I wouldn't try and do it myself, would I? I'd get in somebody who's really good at what they do, their, you know, their uh, gas safe registered and all that sort of thing. It's the same with legal advice. You know, go and see somebody who's suitably qualified and uh, and and just listen. Tell them what you you want to uh, explain is your issue. You know your worries. They'll tell you things that also you know you don't know what you don't know because uh, we don't <laughs> in, in any yeah, walk exactly, of life. Yeah. And explain. You'll have the situation explained to you, and then you can come up with the best solution. And if it's done in a friendly, affordable way, because that's the other thing, especially in this you know era we're in now, where it's. Uh, you know, the, the cost of living crisis, which I think the, the media is driving all the time as well. You know, uh, people are very cost conscious. So you need to be able to give fixed fees, speak in plain English and be nice people about it because it's not an attractive subject. It's not the sexiest thing in the world, is it, to talk about wills and trusts and powers of attorney. But uh, people spend more time booking their holidays. They spend more time on Facebook. Uh, they spend more time. Uh, discussing things that really are not that gonna are not gonna have that much of an impact on them, but you know, an hour with somebody who knows what they're doing, they can sort most things out for you, you know. And it's peace of mind you buy, and it's a kindness thing about it, you know. It's like uh, you love your family, or you should do. You love your family, you know. You you may love certain charities you're linked to, uh, you know. You you owe a duty of care to your family as well as your colleagues at work. So why wouldn't you put things in place that just protects them, you know? Yeah. But again, it's 
you know, it, it, it's trying to make it attractive enough for people to do it without them thinking uh, in, in our British way that it's all about death and misery, because yeah. it's not. It's thoughtful. Yeah.